Okay, we're back here again um, discussing Adobe Premiere Elements 15. The last video we talked about how to get started with importing clips, trimming it, sending it down to the timeline, saving, and then exporting. Right now, we're going to discuss just something simple called transitions, how to add a cross dissolve in between your clips if you just want to get... You know, just a smooth transition. So again, this is um, just based on transitions, but uh, let's walk through the whole process again real quickly. Continue trial. We're on a trial version. Okay, you open it up wherever you in. Click the expert. It should be already there, but if it's not, click the expert. You want to add your media? Add media. Files and folders. Video. You hit your video. It'll open up. You can go back in, click in that square box. If you want to add more video, it doesn't matter where. You can click here, here, there to add more media. Just click, and it's open back up. And let's say we wanted to add another video. And we added two videos. Okay, so if I want to trim this video, I double-click. This box open up. I drag the panel to where it wants to be. To start, I hit I. This is where I want this video to start. I drag somewhere down a little bit further or play I get to where I want to stop I hit O this is all on my keyboard and then I'm satisfied with well, this is the trim that I want I drag down this is a long video so this little part right here if we want to make this timeline of this clip smaller drag all the way to the left and as you see now I have more space this is my second video I want to edit that I double click that this pops up same thing play or drag to start a clip where I wanted to start in the beginning, I hit I. To end it, I drag, I hit O on my keyboard. When I'm done, I drag. Now if I'm here, down here, see this the mouse for this is the mouse. You see the two arrows? If I if I'm on this video right here, right? I click right here in this gray area, and this is the time panel where the video is going to start and play a pair. We don't need this no more, so we can exit out. So we play up here in the main source monitor or program monitor and we drag. Let's say I started the video right here and this started and I play it and it's a few seconds. You know, I don't need this part right here. So I can take this arrow right here and drag a little bit up to this red and it erased and deleted the space in between. And you can go back and play. If you get into any trouble, whether you made a mistake on your keyboard, remember I said CTRLs, that's usually at the left of your keyboard. If you hit that and the letter Z at the same time, it'll, I'm doing it right now. See, it replaced what I had before I started dragging. And you can do that on each video. Just left click to each video and highlight. See, when you do that, it pops up what that clip was. I double click that, but we don't need that and drag now if you want to edit it not right here with dragon just double click and you see how that popped up and you can start you know editing this how you want again O drag down or if I add O right here I'm hitting O right there by me double clicking that and hitting O right there it modified that down here so when you double click from down here and you start redoing the ins and outs, it's going to replace it down here. But when you start up here and click before dragging down here, you can just keep dragging and dropping. Okay. Right click, delete, and close gap. Right click, delete, and close gap. That board, that video flows over here to here. So you're right here and you want to do a transition. You've done your edits. You went here, you did I's and O's, you dragged it down. You got it to where you want it to be. You can highlight over here, drag it down here, edit. You can go to this video, click, drag, whatever. Everything's straight. Now, before, remember, always go up the file and always don't ever forget to save. Um, the program saves every so often by itself, but you go back and save because if the program or your computer crashes, you lose everything. Save. Remember the first time you're saving? If this pops up, um, let's go and do it again. Let's save it again. This already exists. I'm just going to overwrite that. Boom. So we're done. If that confused, that last part saving confused you, don't worry about that. Just file and save. Okay? There we go. You want to add a transition, like a cross dissolve. Like, you know, between this clip and that clip, you just want to have some type of a transition visually. 
and have a cross dissolve instead of just cutting from one clip to the next. What you want to do is you see these, these are effects. What you want to do is go down to this part right here where it says when you hover over it a little bit, it says apply transition. Click that. When you click that, this box opens up. It's called cross dissolve. That's what you want. The middle one right here crosses off. You take your left mouse and then drag it in between the clips right there. When you do that, another box pops up for how long you want this transition to be between the clips. I don't know. You could put three seconds, hit your arrow up, three seconds, done. And there it is. You can't see it, but it's a little thing right here that cross dissolves. So what we're going to do is if I play this right now, you may see a little bit of a cross dissolve, but the computer is a little jerky right now. But you saw that a little bit right there. It, it, it did a cross dissolve. Um, and pretty much that's the, mm, excuse me, that's the basis of this tutorial was transitions. Once you're done, you go file, save again, export right over here, right over here, export. Browse to where you want to save it. This is going to go to the desktop. If you hit here, browse, you can put the downloads. Let's say we hit the documents and select folder. Now it says documents. That means this is where the video is going to go when you're done. You can name your video over if you want to what you want the video to be. Right now, this is the project name, so which we're saving up here. So when we, if we're not done, we go back on our computer and find a project name to open it up. But right now we want to name the video. You can name it the same way, name or whatever. Once you're done, save. You see this? Once this fills up, see this blue? And that's done. You're done. And go into that folder where you saved it, which is, let's say we saved it to documents. You go to your documents folder. Documents. Let's find it right here. And it should be there. All right, wherever you saved it to. And that's a tutorial on transitions and a little recap of getting started um, with Premier Elements 15.